This is Jan, and today we're going to make a ooey gooey cake. It's called a gooey cake. So come along with us as we try to show you how we make this delicious yumminess. Hey everybody, this is Jan and welcome to my kitchen uh, here on Shumper's Hill. Uh, I'm trying to catch my breath, it's been a busy week. Um, today, as you've seen that cake, it's called a gooey cake and it is so good. And let me tell you where the recipe came from. My mama. <laughs> um, when my mama was alive, we would eat with her. She'd watch my boys on Thursdays and and she'd have supper for us on Wednesday nights and this was one of those cakes that she had made and it was one of those ooh and ah ones and we just fell in love with it and so I had to get the recipe and my boys just grew up with it they love it she got it out of a magazine from it was one that Loretta Lynn had made and so it's so good so I'm going to share it with you and I'm going to tell you the secret of the cake it's a cake mix <laughs> I know some of you are going, oh, or ooh and on, or some are saying, you know, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, it is a box cake, but if you don't, if you have a problem, I know some people don't like box cakes. So if you have a problem, if you got a recipe for a devil's food cake, go ahead and make it. So uh, it's just reading the box. I'm not going to cook the cake in front of y'all, but I will tell you this much: it's. Um, I'll be back when the um, and do the magic of the cake when the cake is cooked okay this just came out the oven it's very hot so um at this point i'm going to show you what to do i have a jar of caramel sauce that you get from the ice cream toppings so good and good old condensed milk um this is just a store brand but um I'll show you what to do with that. Like I said, this is very hot, so be careful. Don't burn yourself. But I have a skewer here. I've used a case knife. I guess you might call it a butter knife. Mine was taught case knife. But a wooden spoon, anything you can. And then this is just a little one. And just punch holes everywhere you go. <laughs> so if you want to take your frustrations out, I try not to go all the way through to the bottom because uh, I don't want it to I want it to be in the cake to get the cake good and gooey and I've even taken it and done it like this here to make my holes bigger so I mean it's up to you whatever you want to do if you want a million holes <laughs> you know that's you I like a lot of holes because I like to get that um, stuff inside now this is one of those cakes that if you make it um, you can make it a couple of days ahead of time and it is the longer it sits in the refrigerator and the gooier it gets in the center the better it is and so it's one of those I like to make we won't be eating this till Friday so um, and this is Wednesday so two days in the refrigerator will be great a lot of times if I make this like for holidays or something um, birthday somebody's birthday or something I'll fix it a day or two ahead of time so it can see it and you know I just don't have to look pretty is a good thing about it so just take your frustrations out with a stick all right I'm gonna grab a teaspoon now come on over there Get in there. <laughs> I'll put that over to the side. And I'm going to try to go slowly so I don't gunk a pile of it at one time because it does that. But just try. And if I'm going to do that, I might want to do that center. And just spread it all over. If you can get that fine little line, then you get a gunk. <laughs> a big old wallop of it. But you just cover it. And this. I don't know what magazine my mama got it out of, but um, it was one that Loretta Lynn had shared. And I'll tell you what, if she cooked everything else like she cooked this cake, huh, the woman could cook. She could just, I grew up with listening to her sing. And so um, 
she has a beautiful voice so obviously she must can cook as well as she can sing whoops getting a bit much over there it's one of those, this is one of those cans, I mean cakes, cans. <laughs> um, this is one of those cakes that you can, um, you want to get all that caramel and condensed milk and cake that's going to be gooey once you open this. I'm sorry, at the end of the, um, of this video, I won't be able to show you the inside of the cake because I'm not going, you know, won't be able to because we're taking this somewhere, but, um. It's just going to be so good. And more goes in those little holes, the better. Because it almost just covers the cake. Oh. This is just one of those recipes that, um, my, like I said, my boys grew up eating it at Christmas time and stuff, birthdays, whatever. And it was just one of those recipes that everybody seems to enjoy. Now, my daughter-in-law doesn't like caramel, so I'm not sure. She loves chocolate, but she's not crazy about caramel. So I'm not sure. I think she eats it, a little piece of it. Um, I'm just not sure. But I have other desserts, and she's making some. I hate to ask her to make too much food because she's um, got one month. She's got four weeks till the um, Abel is born. And then she homeschools with, with three little ones. So she's got her hands full. I like to get it all out, y'all. This stuff is it's gold in a jar anymore. Anything that you buy at the grocery store is a gold in the jar. But, oh, it's just so good. So I had to go open my can of condensed milk. Oops, and I'm trying to not. This is another one of those things that just finger licking good. So I'm going to try very careful again to just pour and not get a lot of mess everywhere. The more it goes in those holes, the oh. The mm -mm good it'll be. Well, y'all are getting ready for a hurricane. Um, it's partly cloudy outside, and. Uh, it's supposed to um, be here tomorrow with some, I think we're going to get rain, and I think my husband said they're calling for winds for us like 20, 25 miles an hour, so that'll be about like springtime winds for us, so that won't, hopefully won't be too bad, because um, we've got a lot of pork that my um, Boston butts that my um, oldest son is going to come over and um, cook, and so he's going to be cooking tomorrow. We've got a shed. I hope the rain don't blow too much. And then he's got a tart that he's going to put up. So he's going to be outside cooking the um, the butts for the barbecue that we're going to be serving to um, family. Y'all, I'm just one of these. I guess I, it was raised in me, but you don't let any of it waste if you can help it. And it's just too good. You know, if you get a spoonful of this or half a spoonful here and half a spoonful there, you got a spoonful. All right. Now, oh, that's just good, looking good. And my hands are, my hands are sticky. That hand is sticky anyway. So, um, we put it in a, I put it in a tinfoil 
thing. So um, I don't have a lot of dishes to wash. But the, the, this is deceiving because the tinfoil is not, aluminum foil is not um, uh, hot. But that cake is still hot. So I'm just going to let that sit and cool. And um, yeah, the bottom is still hot. So I'm going to let that sit and cool. And once it's cool, we'll come back and show you what else to do. I think my cake is cooled enough so that I can, um, yeah, start putting my Cool Whip on top of it. And so I'm going to, I just bought some big ones. I took a grocery list, a sheet, a notebook sheet long yesterday, last night, built it out ready, got to the grocery store, and I had forgot to take it with me. So I was trying to remember everything that was on that list. I did pretty good. I had a few things that, uh. I couldn't remember but uh, so this is my cool whip and I am just gonna um, put this up on top as much as I want <laughs> it doesn't matter Oops, I'm making a mess and I'm just gonna spread this around side. I think that's pretty. Yeah. And I'm wearing it. <laughs> oh. oh well. Even with an apron on. I told y'all before. I'm a messy. I'm a messy cook. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is just move that out of the way. And I have two Hershey Kisses that I use my meat cleaver too and I just these have been in the freezer and I'm sorry it's going to be loud but I like to break them up pretty good I put one candy bar the recipe calls for three I find that a little bit much um, but you can put um, I put one Put M Ms and I'll tell you M Ms when you put M Ms that you're gonna get all that color fading on there. So just know that. And candy bars, I've got more. They're expensive, but I went to Dollar Store and I got these for 89 cents. Look, I got it both up. Now. Didn't fill out right there. It doesn't much matter. Get her cake back. Brought my scissors over here so I can cut the tops out. <laughs> and you see what's falling out. <laughs> Good little pieces of chocolate. So you can you can do them as fine as you want to. I don't care. I mean I don't care <laughs> what you do. <laughs> I don't care how it turns out here. Um, this will still be good. And I, usually I do do them smaller, but I'm just getting them on there today. As you see, those little shavings makes it really pretty. Maybe the candy bars are getting smaller. Everything else gets smaller, so maybe the candy bars are getting smaller. Might need to use more. Um, <laughs> go back to the three. Just trying to get somewhere. You get a bite, you get some. The candy bar is good with it, but I'll tell you what, the candy bar don't make this cake. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. It's the, um, it 
it's the cake itself. The caramel and the condensed milk with that cake is what makes this. So, there is my cake, and uh, it's got a little on the side, it don't matter. I'm going to put a lid on it, put it in the refrigerator, and let it sit for, like I said, two days. So you can let it sit for a day, you can let it sit for two days, but that looks really good. Thank you. Hope you try it and enjoy it. And like I said, I can't cut this thing and show you the inside, but I'll tell you, if you make it, you will not be disappointed because it is that good.